Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I am back today with another recipe. This one is easy prep, and then you put it in the, in the crock pot, and then you grill it for 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna make is barbecue baby back ribs. Okay, so I found this recipe probably, I don't know, seven, eight years ago, and I've always just used the same recipe. It's so simple, so let me show you what I did. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut this little bit of fat off the end. I hate fat on my meat. Ugh, that's so gross to me. My husband always tells me, don't cut the fat off. And I'm like, oh, that's gross. Okay, so I, I've got this thawed and I've got this already washed. And it's a good, good stick of meat. I'm just gonna put my baby back ribs in my crock pot I've already got it turned on to high. You're gonna cook these at, on high for like five hours, four and a half, five hours. So I'm gonna put those in there. Let me move this cutting board out of the way. Wash my hands. Okay, so now that I've got my ribs, so simple, right? Ribs are in the crock pot. Then how I'm gonna cook them is I'm gonna take a bowl. I have brown sugar and I bought a can of pineapple juice. And so I'm gonna pour about, I don't know, three fourths of my can of pineapple juice or even all. Just live on the edge and go for all. So I'm gonna cut my pineapple juice in here. And now I'm gonna take about, a, about three fourths of a cup of brown sugar. And let's see. That looks about good. Mix it in there. And grab a big fork so I can mix it in. Okay, kind of mix mix around my brown sugar and my pineapple juice mixture. And I'm just gonna pour it over my ribs in the crock pot. Like I said, I've got this on high. Look at that, let's get all that goodness of the brown sugar in there too. Oh, good y'all. Okay, so now I've got it on high. Gonna put the lid on it and leave it. And it's, I will come back in about, probably about four and a half hours and check on it. Probably by then, four and a half to five hours, it's plenty because you do not want it to overcook because if you overcook them, they fall apart too much. My husband says he wants them still on the bone, but still tender enough. So I'm gonna leave these for about five hours, and when I pull them out, I will show you guys what we'll do next. But after we pull these out, we'll be throwing them on the grill for about 15 minutes with some barbecue sauce, and let me tell you, delicious. Okay, y'all, when these are done cooking, I'll show you what's next. Hey y'all, so I am back now. It's been five hours and I'm taking them out of my crock pot now. My husband got home while ago and goes, don't let them cook too long. So this is what they look like when you're taking them out of the crock pot. And I just put them on a, a cookie sheet or something to put them on. And then in a few minutes, we're gonna stick these babies on the grill. Yep, they're tender already. Look at that, perfect. Okay, so now I've got that off. When I get them on the grill, I'll show you what they look like. See, they're, they're all cooked. Now I'll get the barbecue sauce ready, okay? Bubs is putting on the barbecue sauce on the ribs I took out of the crock pot, and he's gonna put them on the grill. How long do you put them on the grill for, babe? Uh, 10, 15 minutes. Okay. So, they're gonna be delicious. 
Okay, I'll show you what they look like when they're on the grill. Okay, he's putting barbecue sauce on the other side. We're gonna let them grill up. And in about 15 minutes, they'll be good to go. Need more? So it's been about five or ten minutes and my husband just flipped them over and barbecued them up on the other side. They're looking good. Okay, flipped them over. There y'all go. Smell of vision. It's looking good. Now he's going to move these over and we're going to grill some corn. So here's the finished ribs. They look delicious. They smell wonderful. They're fork tender. They're going to just fall right off the bone once we touch them. But anyway, yep, yeah, they look good. So I hope that you have enjoyed this recipe. I know it's a little bit different, but I thought I'd share this with you because this really is a good recipe if you like baby back ribs. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'll leave uh, in the description below the ingredients that I used. And y'all, um, we're going to finish grilling up our corn and we're going to chow down on these things. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.